So, um, you're one of the new faces joining Nightfall this season. Yeah. Um, so, would you want to tell us a little bit about your character and how she fits into the plot? Yeah, so Margaret, I come in episode three and she is Prince Louis's wife. She sort of comes at a point where he's mourning his mother's death and um, she's sort of this pure, I think, hopeful light within sort of the Nightfall world. She's not trying to plot murder, kill someone and it's just this relationship between her and Louis of this pure love and I think that sort of brings out a conflict within him. You've got his father sort of making him do these awful sort of things and you've got Margaret so I think that sort of brings out a nice balance within his character and I think then she has this sort of trick, well she thinks that a sisterhood with um, Princess Isabella, which actually transpires to be a bit more um, tricky, shall I say, <laughs> than uh, what you think, um, but in Margaret's eyes. So it's um, a really interesting dynamic that she, I think she brings to sort of the royal family, and obviously Prince Philip is putting this pressure to, for her to produce an heir. Um, so otherwise she'll be out <laughs> and he'll be on to the next. So it's a. Uh, off with her head. Yeah, off with her head. <laughs> she'll try and stick around. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, how much did you know about the Knights Templar before you actually got involved? And how much did you know about Nightfall? Had you seen the first season? Yeah, so I'd seen the first season already. And I would say this is, it's a different feel, season two. So I sort of knew what I was getting into, but I think this is, it's the colours, the, the writing, the plots are far more sort of brutal. So it's almost the same sort of TV show, but with a slight sort of twist. Um, which I think has really worked. And, um, and the Knight Templar, so I know as much as probably your average Joe on the street, but my brother is a massive sort of fan. So when I told him I, I got the job, I arrive home, there's like stacks of books for me to read with like post-it notes with like, so I was like, okay, thank you, Angus, that's actually very helpful. So that meant, because I think what's so important as an actor is that you really get an understanding of the world that you're going to be living in. So. And there is so much going on at this, in this time in history. You've got, obviously, what's going on in France, but you've also got Prince Philip, who's trying to marry off Isabella to England because of that relationship. You've got with the Pope as well, with the changings going on there. So there is so much going on. And then, obviously, you've got this right on my doorstep, Landry and Philip at, at war. And so it's, um, it's a really interesting exciting time and I think I'm happy my character sort of pops up now because it's all sort of starting to kick off so uh, <laughs> I'm it's been amazing super interesting it's like yeah sitting on the sitting on the sidelines watching the bat battle scenes I suppose as well yeah I mean, did you at any point wish I want to get my sword out and have a have a oh I could swing? definitely <laughs> get my sort of sword out and have a swing I actually my first ever job was back in Prague on Underworld, and I play sort of this Nordic warrior. So I'm watching the boys, and I'm thinking, okay, like, I could maybe take you on. Maybe not Gwen. He's the best sort of swordsman in, uh, in France, so I've got to, I'd probably give him a miss. But, like, I got to ride. Um, we did side saddle and stuff like this. So we didn't have stunt training as such, but we did a bit of me and um, Genevieve got to do riding lessons and stuff like that. So that was, that was fun. I got to do a bit of... No, it wasn't dangerous, I can't even pretend. But we got to ride horses, so that was fun. <laughs> you got to have some fun. Exactly. Let all the hard work goes to the guys. So yeah, yeah. They, they get all sweaty anyway. Yeah, exactly. And they all end up taking their tops off at some point in the season, it seems. It's not too bad. Is it, no, really? I wasn't complaining. I was like, go on, boys. You do you. Exactly. Um, and when it comes to costumes as well, I mean... Oh, they're amazing. Yeah. The makeup and the costumes, like, I think so much of, I mean feeling like a royalty like the shoes were even made for us and also traditionally done like they tried to use the same materials and fabrics that we would have had back then the makeup super minimal but the, the hair I just I mean I can barely do a ponytail so like the fact I was having these amazing hairstyles done which took hours but I was like oh my gosh I just it helps you feel more in character as well and like I think part of the fun of doing a period drama is the, the costumes, the dressing up of it all. So I very much enjoyed that. 
And it's, who did you enjoy working with the most? <laughs> the yeah. inspector's like, oh, I loved everybody. <laughs> no, the, the problem is I, I don't work with everyone, but I do. It, it, it's so annoying because there's no like, oh, this person was this. And that, it, like, we all got in so well, all hung out together in the evening. Mark Hamill had everyone over for pizza. Like, it was like genuinely like the funnest time. Um, I loved working with my husband. That was always fun. I had a lot of scenes with him, and he's an amazing actor, Tom Forbes. And I loved also with Ed Stoppard. I had a really small scene with him um, where he's sort of coming in and sort of banishing me. But it's. Um, it, to work with him was really awesome and he's such a nice guy so those were I think two of my highlights working with those boys but it's um all in all like it's genuinely like a big family and I think they was uh, being newcomers the original guys were just so like Simon and Parik and Tom they were just took everyone under their wings and it was just they made everyone feel at home and that in that environment, everyone can just give their best performances and get the work done. So hopefully everyone enjoys it. <laughs> and if it, you know, it makes it to a season three, whatever yeah. happens, I don't know what happens to your character. I was going to say. Um, <laughs> so would you be uh, interested in coming back if you're still around? <laughs> if she decides to not. Um, <laughs> hmm, I don't know how to answer this. Uh, well, so we'll see what happens to Margaret. But I think, of course, I think it's really rare when you have um, such a creative, fun bunch of people genuinely to just work with. Um, so in that respect, 100%, and, but who knows what's in store for Margaret, so we'll see. Well, thank you very much for your thank time. Thank you, that Cheers. was really thank fun. You. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!